Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to be working on the Stuffy Vol video and this is really a cute pattern. It is awesome for, you know, the kids who love to have like little stuffed animals and all kinds of stuff in their bedroom and they can put them all in the stuffy bag and have like a place to put them all together because I know if your child is like mine, they have stuffed animals everywhere so this is the perfect pattern and this one i'm making today is for my little niece um she's building her collection so we're gonna give her a stuffy ball where she can put it all in um also if you didn't want to do the um uh like make it available for them to put their stuffed animals in and you just want it like a plush ball you can always use it for that as well and just fill it up with something comfy for them to lay on um so that's also an option so that's great so before we get started though, let me remind you about our fun fan giveaway of $50 Ellie and my gift certificate. And all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and comment below and you will be entered for our giveaway um, of $50. And it happens every month. So go ahead and subscribe so you can be entered. All right, so let's get started. I already cut out my pattern, uh, my stuffy ball pattern. And this is my bottom. And as you see, my bottom and my top are the same. They're just two pieces, same pieces. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our every corner, one, two, three, four, five, six corners, hexagon. Um, and we're going to measure a quarter inch from each edge. And we're going to go in a quarter inch all the way around where we can, oh, I don't like this ruler it starts uh, wrong in the measurement. And where we're going to mark make a little mark now I'm using pen but if you have a fabric marker or anything like that that would be probably the better thing to do but I don't right now so I'm just using pen and it's okay a quarter inch that first mark was too far away a quarter inch from each edge and I'm going all the way around so I'm gonna have 12 marks because I've got six corners and I'm going to each side of the corner. So I'm gonna have 12 marks on each one. So in the front and on the back. So let's do that. Okay, so once we've done that, we're gonna grab our sides and we're gonna put them together. We're gonna to start with either your top or your bottom first, and we're gonna put them all on. Now, if you have a uh, fabric that is uh, uh, directional make sure that if this is your top you put it all facing the right way so that they're all facing will be facing the right way when you put them together okay we're gonna grab one of our sides our top of our of our uh, side see here's my side so our short side and we're gonna put it right on top of that area and we're gonna do that for all six of them and what we're doing is we're gonna sew from the quarter point to the other quarter point. And as we sew, we need to make sure that we're gonna start at the quarter point, go back and forth, and go all the way to the quarter point and go back and forth so you can uh, uh, last your stitch right there. Now, I, I am so, I don't know, I like to do everything at once. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll grab my pattern. And so see here, this is directional print. So I'm going up and down. So this is gonna be my top. This is gonna to be my top. So I want always fade, always the top of the fabric to be right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all in. And then I will uh, go sew them up. Now remember, if you're keeping a pattern, remember to keep your pattern of fabric as you're going along. I have, uh, not enough of my other fabric so i'm doing the top and the bottom with the pink and then the two sides with this other fabric i kind of wish i had another uh fabric that matched it but i didn't and so i'm doing this one i think it'd still be super cute um and she's going to love it because it's like little forest animals it's like a wolf cute very cute so i'm going to continue to pin and then i'm going to go over and sew we are over at my sewing machine and i'm going to start at that quarter inch right there i'm going to go forward and go back so i can lock my stitch and i'm going all the way down 
and sewing that one side all the way to that quarter stitch. Now, if you can't tell what the, where the quarter inch is, you might want to maybe put a pin right there, the quarter inch, and then cut, and we go to the next section. So that's why I like to go ahead and have them ready because I can just sew it all at once right now. And I feel like it takes less time doing it this way, but maybe it doesn't. I'm gonna go and sew all my sides on. Now we are all done sewing those sides onto the top. So as we know, um, woven seems uh, tends to fray and these stuffy balls, I'm sure are gonna get lots and lots of, uh, I maybe wouldn't say mistreatment, but a lot of use. Um, so what we wanna do now is we wanna go ahead and make sure that those edges are uh, nice and um, uh, finished. So I can do that by either going on my serger and finishing those edges, or you can go a, a still in your sewing machine and just do zigzag edging all around on all those different spots and all the different areas, just all the way around zigzag stitching those seams to make them um, tighter and better so they didn't fall apart later when uh, the, the when the kids are playing with them. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish all those seams. Edges finished. Now that my edges are all the way finished, all the way around, we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing for the uh, bottom. So that was my top, now we're gonna do the bottom. And we wanna make sure that we put them in the same order. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pinning and make sure they're not twisted and that they're in the same order. So here's my first one and here goes the second one. Make sure it's not twisted. We're gonna go ahead and pin it. And I'm just gonna do it exactly the same way that I did my top. I'm gonna pin them all at first and then I'm gonna go back to my sewing machine and sew them on. And then I'm gonna go over to my serger and finish those edges to make sure that my seams are not gonna come undone as my little niece stuffs this stuffy ball full of um, cute little stuffed animals. All right, now on over to our sewing machine. All attached, over to our serger. Time to sew those edges together. That raw edge, go ahead and finish them up. Raw edges are serged. Right, once the top and bottom are all done, we're gonna grab the sides and we're gonna start sewing those together. Now, uh, I have a little bit of, of the fabric name on there, but that's all right. We'll probably eat that up as I'm sewing it up. You're matching those raw edges from the, corn, from the top all the way around the edges. Now you're only going to do five of them because the sixth one is where you're going to attach your zipper. So you're gonna sew these together along that raw edge and you're going to leave that, fit, that uh, sixth one open for us to work the zipper in once we're done sewing it all together. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin all of them and then I'm gonna go ahead and sew them and then finish the raw edge just as I did my sides. All right, I've pinned them all, now I just need this last part right here i'm going to leave that open because that's where i'm going to put my zipper i'm going to go ahead and sew those now over at my sewing machine and i'm going to go ahead and sew those corners 
start at the corner and go all the way down. Remember to go back and forth right there at the top. We're going all the way down. So that raw edge together. And I'm going to do the exact same thing to all the sides. And now we are open. We are to the open front opening and all the other ones are in there. So we're going to go ahead and go over to our serger and finish those raw edges. Here we are at the serger just to finish all the raw edges off the sides. All my edges are sewn in. We're also going to sew the raw edges of that uh, opening, front opening where uh, you're gonna put your zipper because I want those raw edges to be together. I mean, I'm sorry, those raw edges to be uh, finished when I put my zipper on. Now let's go over and attach our zipper. First thing we're going to do is measure out our zipper. How long is our zipper? And we're going to measure all the way from the top, tippity top top, all the way to the bottomy bum bum. And that is 23 and a half, 23 and a half. Okay, so we're gonna grab my ball. Now this zipper was 23 and a half. Yours might be something totally different. Um, and we're gonna grab, and we're going to measure. Well, I don't know why I'm turning it inside out because the first part I gotta do uh, inside out. Okay, we're gonna measure from the top. And we're going to put 23 and a half. How far down does 23 and a half go okay and we're going to go ahead and pin mark with the pin where my zipper starts and where my zipper ends actually i can just grab my zipper here and just kind of look at it do you want your zipper to be all the way towards the bottom? Do you want your zipper to be all the way to the top or right in the middle? We're gonna put it right in the middle. And I'm gonna pin this bottom side right here where my zipper begins or ends. Ends or begins, whatever it is. I'm gonna place a pin right there. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the top. Raw edges together. Though I'm not attaching the zipper yet, I'm just sewing those sides, but I want to make sure that my raw edges are together. Well, they're not raw anymore because I fixed them and pin. So I am pinning right here. See where my two pins are at the end? One right here and the one right here. I'm going to go back on my sewing machine and sew that gap in the top closed right here at this line so that I'm going to open it and that's where I'm going to attach my zipper. So I'm going to go ahead and sew it under here from the top to the pin and from the bottom to the pin. I'm going to go ahead and sew that up. But one thing I forgot to tell you before I move on to do this part, I went ahead and looked at all my corners and made sure in all of them that I don't have any gaps. Like I didn't miss a stitch or something like that and I end up having a little gap because if you do have a gap, you wanna take care of it now before you move on to putting your zipper on and doing all that stuff. So make sure you check all your seams, um, all your points um, and make sure that they're nice and even and you don't have any gaps before you move on. I'm gonna grab my iron and I'm going to iron 
that seam open. So like I just went and sewed to the pin, I'm gonna open it up, the seam, and I'm gonna iron it open because that is where my zipper is going to go on that edge. Over here, I'm going to just iron it on and give myself like a little lip where I'm going to attach my zipper. So I'm opening it and steaming it. All right, now I can turn my ball right side out. Now, if you wanted to do, just stuff it with something, like uh, some kind of stuffing or something, just to be like a bing bag kind of ball, you can go ahead and sew it together uh, inside out and just leave a small gap, maybe a five inch gap where you'll fit all your stuff that you're stuffing with. And then I would go ahead and just fold that edge and top stitch if you don't want a zipper on it. But honestly, even if you're doing that, you might want a zipper on it just because you might want to take it off and wash it every once in a while and you don't want to wash the whole thing. So it's up to you. And actually, I am thinking that I might use this pattern and make the big stuffy ball and make it for my dog to lay on and um, just stuff it with fun things inside. Okay, so this is my top. So I want to make sure that I'm putting my zipper the right way on my ball. Um, this is the top of my zipper. I brought you closer so I can really show you what I'm doing. Here's my stuffy ball and here is my opening, okay? And I, eventually my zipper is gonna end up like this, right? So we want this fabric, this right side of the fabric to be right on top like this right here, right? And then on this side as well. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're gonna flip the zipper and put it right on top of that fabric. So right sides together right here. And we'll start right at the edge where we uh, stopped, where we marked our beginning. And I'm gonna open it again. I closed it, I don't know why I closed it, like to show you, but anyway. And then um, I'm gonna start right here and pinning that raw edge all the way down, all the way down to sew. So the right side of your zipper is touching the right side of your fabric. Now, once it's all pinned on this side, we wanna pin the other side as well, but again, it's gonna be right sides together. So we're going to turn kind of, it's easier for me if I go this way. So we're gonna turn it so that the right side of the fabric right here is touching the right side of the zipper. So we can go like this way. So see that raw edge right there, it's touching the right side of the zipper. And then we're gonna pin that way too. But we can sew one side first and then we'll come back and sew the other side because then that's easier for me. So we're we'll gonna go ahead and sew that side and then we'll go over and sew the other side. So I am using a zipper foot, which it kind of gives me a little bit of leeway because it kind of uh, makes sure that my zipper is over on that side and I'm not like kind of running it over as I'm going through. Now this zipper is not that big, uh, thick, so it won't, uh, cause as much trouble as some of the thicker zippers. I'm gonna start on this side since this is the side that I uh, have my foot on. Because this foot, as you can see, has got two sides. You can do it on this side or on this side. So we're gonna start. And the good thing is like it, may, it, it guides it so that it's touching that zipper right there and it's not going any farther than it needs to be. But because it's got that foot there, then it can go pretty far in as much as I need it to. And we're going all the way down. And that one zipper is on. You can go back once you've sewn them both together, we'll go back and we'll top stitch all the way around if you wanna top stitch all the way around. So now I've sewn the zipper on one side of my zipper part. Now I'm gonna sew the other side and I'm gonna put it right here. As you can see, I need to go, like here's my zipper face up and I need to place it face down right on top of the other side, like so. Right sides of the fabric with the right side of the zipper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it 
and put it right on top, right sides together of the zipper. Sorry, my, my stuffy ball, I'm gonna turn it inside out. All this fabric. Okay, I'm gonna turn it and I'm going to pin my right side of my zipper with the right side of my fabric right there. Right side of my fabric right there. Okay, and I'm gonna pin it all the way. All the way and sew it on just like I sewed that other side on. Okay, now that it's pinned, right side of the, see how the zipper looks right here? Right side of the zipper is pinned to the right side of the fabric. I'm gonna go ahead and sew that zipper on just like I did the other one. And our zipper is on. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fabric all the way right side out. I know, I'm turning it inside out, right side out, inside out, right side out. I like to do it that way. Uh, it's easier for me when I turn it right side out one for one side and inside out for the other. Now we're gonna go back and top stitch all the way around. And when we get right here to the bottom where the edge of the zipper is, we're gonna like box it. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go up the side, over and down. So we're gonna go all the way up, around and around and box those ends in as you go at the edge. So let me do that on our sewing machine and we'll be done. Okay, so I am going to still be using my zipper foot and I wanna start uh, at the, kind of in the middle. And if I'm gonna use this way, um, I might move my zipper foot over here that way. I'll, there we go. That makes more sense. And we're gonna sew at the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're gonna start right here, make sure our zipper is folded down, and we're gonna sew that raw edge. Now, I mean not raw edge, I'm sorry. We're gonna sew top stitch all the way around. Now, if you don't have a zipper foot, you just need to make sure that you're just a little bit, uh, that you're giving that, that a seam allowance, like uh, uh, one eighth right there away from the zipper. Don't run over your zipper. When you get to the zipper, you can lift up your foot and move your zipper out of the way, that way it makes it easier for you to finish up. You can move it either up or down, whatever is easier for you. Okay, and then when we get down here at the bottom, make sure you're moving everything out of the way too so you're not sewing it together at the wrong place. We're gonna go all the way down. We're gonna stop right underneath the zipper. We're gonna turn and we're gonna go, I'm gonna go back and forth right here. And then I'm gonna turn again. And make sure again that you're taking everything out of the way of the zipper. And here we go, sewing those, top stitching the zipper again. Now I got to my zipper, I'm gonna move it down and I'm gonna continue all the way around. Here I am to the other end, turn it, and I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go back and forth to secure that zipper right there, and then turn. And go all the way down to where I started. I am done top stitching my zipper and we are done with our ball. All right, we are done with our stuffy ball and my zipper is right there and it is super cute. 
I'm going to go fill it up with stuffed animals and take a picture so you can see it. I think my niece is gonna love it. Well, she won't know until she gets older because she's a little baby, but I love it. Make sure you trim all your little pieces of thread. I have one right here and that is it. Here's our zipper where we can stuff all our stuff inside of it. I hope you enjoyed this sewing tutorial. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. I just used uh, uh, a woven, just a cotton uh, material from the store and I am in love. Uh, please uh, come, comment, like, share, subscribe. Come find us on Facebook or Instagram or our links are below. And then you can uh, come show us what you make and come see what everybody else is making in our community. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.